flight to go next door and play with Mavis. How come every time there's something funny going on in this family, I've got to go play with Mavis? Harold. All right. Hazel, I'm so sorry. Oh, them kids don't want to get married no more than Harold does. That woman, meaning no disrespect to Mr. B's sister, but she's just driving them into it, just as sure as I'm standing here. No, I don't know why Deidre doesn't use a little psychology. The more she tries to keep them apart, the more determined they'll be to stay together. You hit the nail right on the head, Missy. Well, I'd like to hit Deirdre right on the head, <laughs> meaning no disrespect. Eddie's the first big brain we ever had in the Burke family. He's just got to be an astro... Uh, a Sisyphus. <laughs> The attention of the court is respectfully directed to the precedent established at Elwood versus Barnes, Superior Court State of... Yes, Miss Scott? Your wife's calling Mr. Baxter on one. Yes, honey, what is it? I'm kind of busy. I... Dorothy, will you speak up? I can hardly... I'm at Deirdre's and I don't want her to hear me. What's happened now? She's in a terrible state, George. Evidently, she and Nancy argued most of the night, and when Deirdre woke up this morning, Nancy was gone. Gone? Gone where? We don't know. I came over as soon as she phoned and... Hang on. I'm on the phone. I'm sorry, Mr. Baxter, but... Did you call a doctor? Yes, and he gave her a sedative. And we wired Harry. He's flying home on the 2 o'clock plane. George, can you meet... <clears throat> Hold on a minute. Hang on. Look, Dorothy, I can't hang on. I... Dorothy? Dorothy! Just a minute, George. Deirdre, the doctor said you were to rest. Uh, uh, George, Deirdre wants to talk to you. George? George? All right, Miss Scott, what is it? Hang on. Mr. Baxter, after all these years, you certainly should realize I wouldn't interrupt you unless it were vitally important. All right, Miss Scott, this is no time to have your feelings hurt. George, George, I'm at my wit's end. Uh, George? George? Uh, hang on. George, the least you can do when your sister's in trouble is to stop your business long enough to... Yes, dear, just a moment. Hang on. Sorry, Miss Scott, I didn't mean to bark at you. What is it? It's Hazel. I told her you were talking to Mrs. Baxter, but she insisted that I break in. George, are you there? Never mind. If he's too busy to talk to his own sister at a time like this, just never mind. George, somebody has to pick up Harry at the airport. Oh, Deirdre, please, you know George. George, are you there? I'm here, I'm here. Hang on, Hazel's on the other line. Shall I put her on or tell her to call back? She says she's running out of dimes. What is it, Hazel? Well, I wouldn't bother you at work, except it's very important, and I didn't want to phone Missy at Miss Thompson's. Hazel's on the line. Maybe she knows where Nancy is. Where are you? In a phone booth. She's in a phone... What are you doing in a phone... Uh, Hazel, never mind. Have you heard from Nancy? I'll say I have. What that sister of yours don't know about psychology... No wonder all them kids can think of is getting married right away. Married? 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 Well, I figured it wouldn't George, do no good to get into over? a tizzy. Now, wait a minute, one at a time. Uh, Dorothy, hang on. Uh, Hazel, hang on. Okay, Dorothy, I'm listening. George, she's fainted. Really fainted this time. Well, hang up and call a doctor. Hazel? Hazel? Oh, don't get so excited, Mr. B. They ain't married yet, and they ain't gonna be, not if I can help it. Do psychology on them. Good for you, Hazel. I always knew I could depend on you in an emergency. Now, just keep them apart. Keep them apart? Nothing. I just got them a marriage license. Hazel! Hazel! A marriage license? She's out of her mind. Don't be upset, Deirdre. They aren't married yet. Uh, and Hazel will think of something. Hazel! Hazel! Imagine me introducing her as my son-in-law's aunt. Oh! License to wed. Edward Lionel Burke and Nancy Ann Thompson. I didn't know your middle name was Ann. I didn't know yours either. Lionel. There are an awful lot of things about each other we don't know. I like it, though. Lionel. It sounds sort of strong and brave. Well, now I got Harold all taken care of. I got nothing to do but help you kids. Well, this license ain't good for three days, so the first thing we got to do is to find some place for Nancy to stay. A place for me to stay? Oh, sure, you can't go home. Three days of your mother's hysteria, and you'll be too exhausted to say I do. I don't want to go home. And it wouldn't be much better to go to the Baxters. Don't worry, Nancy. We'll work something out. License 